What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so we won another badge, finally, after six months, probably. I don't even know, guys. But because we took so long trying to earn these badges, I had to shine these suckers up, and look at them. They're shiny. Yeah, took me a while. My, my, my finger was cramping up and all that crud. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, it was, it was, it, yeah, you can shine these up. I don't get the, I don't get the idea behind it. Comment down below, guys. Seriously, help me out here. I'm getting older, you know? Anywho, we have defeated Fantina in our last episode, and that earned us, uh, you know, a fifth badge. On top of it all, it enables us to actually use the serve technique. So in this episode, we're going to be flying around, flying around places where there are rivers or something like that, and, um... Rivers, lakes, something like that, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna take a, a small adventure, guys. Now, the next place that we need to go to is Candleleaf City. That is easy to get, but I again would like to go through places where we couldn't we couldn't pass through because of surfing and whatnot. So that right there is we are in Jubilee City, and we're just gonna be talking about a few things. Now, let's see. Okay, so it's not there. I think it's right here because we did win a few badges, guys. There is an individual here that will give you more apps onto your your Poketech after you've won a few badges. Let's see. I think it's this guy. Uh, here we go. Okay, so... Oh, you can use here. I'll be developing. Okay, uh, not him. Hi, hi. I'm present in Poketech Abity. Okay, okay, there it is. So, yes, he will be giving us more Poketech apps, and I believe... I still have a few more, right? And there we go. Okay, so we got marking map, Poketap. That right there, we're like, you know, you can mark placement to places that, you know, could be useful or something like that. And... Okay, so I think that was that was it. We, still, we can still get more, but that's, you know, when we win more badges. So, let's see. First, first on the priorities list, I believe we can go right here into Route 203. Because there is a specific place that, you know, caught my eye, and I remembered, uh, yeah, we need to get to because, uh, now that we got the serve technique, I don't know if this, I don't know if this will go over well, or it'll take a while, but yeah. Now, if you guys notice, yes, I have the Poke uh, Pokemon Egg on my team just because, well, we have a Pokemon Egg, we haven't used it, we haven't hatched it so we might as well so here we are in the orberg gate and we're gonna be using rock smash again it's great that we have um it is great that we have the poketech app just for the specific reason because pokemon slaves are just ridiculous so here we are going down and this one right here will actually allow us to go through quite a few places i think you can grab yourself a oh yeah you can actually surf right here Correct me if I'm wrong. Did I grab anything right here while on my last visit? I know that I visited. This is where you can actually grab a rare item. A pretty rare item. Oh my god. And I don't think we had a bike. Okay. That right there. We can we can surf now, which is fantastic. And Bibro has uh, allowed us to surf. And we probably should have bought more, some more uh, repels, but uh, yeah, let's see. oh, there it is. Okay, so there we go. We got ourselves a TM31 Brick Break, a very powerful uh, fighting type move that I believe is right around the, the lines of uh, what was it called? Uh, oh wow. Okay, so there's a big boulder. We can't move through that, and there is an individual who want, would want to battle us. So to be sure, let's go right ahead and go with Monfernomon because yeah, I don't want to I don't want to get beaten up. Okay. I'm a veteran. Yes, but you don't dare treat me like a senior citizen. Man, I love the dialogue that these guys have because it's like it always has something to do with them being ge geriatric or something like that. So, let's go right ahead and take on a Riolu now. If I'm not mistaken, Oh man, this Poke Egg. I think this Poke Egg might be, uh, what was it called? Um, might be Togepi or something. 
could be. And, well, here comes a faint attack. Holy crud. Okay, so here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Let's go. How does that feel? Doesn't feel so good, huh? No, sir. And, well, there's some points right there. Staraptor is going to be coming in. So let's go straight for Hydra. Now, in our last episode, we may or may not have forgotten that we had other Pokemon on our team that uh, should have been on our team in the first place. My bad. My bad. So now, in this episode, and quite possibly maybe a few more episodes, maybe an episode or two, we're just going to take some side quests, guys, just to check up on some, um, some, on some stuff before we head into Candelave City. Because going there, it's uh, it's a mission in itself. We're not just going to find the gym leader right away. And, wow, this guy is using Whirlwind. And who are we going to be replacing this Pokemon with? And, wow, okay. So, you asked for death. Okay, let's go. Let's go for the Flamethrower attack. And... Bam! Barbecue chicken. Right here. All right. Okay, so that's more points. Muta Uno growing to level 32 right here. And Hydra, you know, healthy level 36. And it's learning Dragon's Dance. Okay, so this move I definitely need. Yeah, forget Rain Dance. We're just going to go with Dragon's Dance right here because it will benefit it better. You know, makes it faster. Yeah. And, well, here comes Graveler. So let's go straight back for... Let's go with Toothless. I have yet to use this Pokemon in quite some time. In our last episode, we may or may not have revealed that, yes, uh, it's been six months since I've last recorded. I don't know how long it's been since I've last, uh, I, I last post this. I need to go check on my, yeah, I need to go check on my, <laughs> my YouTube. And, well, there we go. Bulldoze attack does something. And this Graveler has been losing some speed right here. So, here comes a Stealth Rock. Don't know why you're using that right now, especially since, you know, we... We're not going to use it. We're not going to switch out. We are not switching out because this land shark right here. Oh, come on. Uh, should have died already. And, well, the speed has gone down. Well, here comes a sandstorm attack. I, again, why are you doing this? You're making me powerful. My Pokemon powerful. I think it boosts up its speed. Or its evasiveness. So here we go. Toothless. Let's go. Bam. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Alrighty, and well, Monfernamon grows to level 41, and Toothless has grown to level 34, so it is learning Slash. And you know what? Let's take away Sandtomb. It's not gonna help us out right now. And there we go. Toothless has grown to level 34 and uh, learned a very, very powerful attack. And well, Veteran Grant is not so happy, but he's like, <laughs> so much skill for one young one, or one so young. One. Yeah. I, I twist the words around a little. Okay, so we can't grab any of those items just yet because we don't have strength. But we did get a Brick Break, which can actually, you know, benefit, benefit us in, a, in the long run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Escape Rope, go back to Jubilife, and then we're going to go into the next area of, you know, interest. So I'll be right back with you guys. That's the message for today, guys. Okay, so we are back. And, uh, well, it was actually a good timing, too, because my battery was about to go and always keep spares. I always keep spares. I'm talking about spare spares right here, guys. Anywho, um, so off screen, I did buy myself some more repels and uh, escape ropes. And, well, it looks like after winning the fifth badge, you are now enabled to buy full heals, guys. So I've sold the whatever healing items I got and I got myself full heals because we need them and uh, well the next place of interest is gonna be right here route 204 and that is because I don't think you okay it's not right here it's a very small it's a very small spot right here guys um, yeah right here any body of water we're gonna be going to and uh, we're gonna be exploring the crud out of it so let's see uh, right here okay so if you land in this area you're gonna be finding yourself an HP up 
which, you know, you can use for your Pokemon to, you know, bring their HP up to, you know, a nice level and all that stuff. I wish it was a rare candy, but yeah, they come, they come every so often. And I think you can go here somewhere. It's probably a dumb thing that I didn't use the Super Repel. Now, before I do anything, let's go ahead and sort these things out. I always like to sort them out just because, you know, very easy to just uh, to locate them and all that stuff. It's it's the important parts that, or the important things that they, or the important items that actually start off first. And here we found ourselves a sea incense that will power up any kind of water type moves. And if you go right here, I think there's a hidden item right here. No, nothing. I was hopeful. I was very hopeful. Okay, so there's nothing right there. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next spot, and that is this right here in uh, the Ravage Path. Now, if you guys notice, the Ravage Path has two areas right here where you can actually rock smash. Go into this area right here, and uh, yeah, you'll be finding yourself a body of water. We're going to be exploring that because we can. We can. We really can. Okay, so let's see. What can we find right here? Nice bodies of water, all blurry and all that stuff. And as you can see, there's a Pokeball right there. And there's a Pokeball right here. And if you grab it, here we have the TMO3 Water Pulse, a very powerful water type move that can actually confuse a, a, an opponent as well. Um, many of these many of these TMs that I'm finding, guys, like you know the, the single ones, I'm keeping them for just in case because, well, again, I... I, I like during my little break, I actually, I actually saw that you know it was best to keep the TMs that are the, the important TMs, the single TMs, because well you know you you may never know who you battle. I'm just saying. And are you serious? Look at that. How messed up is that? I don't even know. Okay, so we're doing that, and we're gonna go there, and we found ourselves a luck incense, which I don't know what it does. So. I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a uh, an escape rope, and we're gonna go into the next place of interest. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're back here at Route 204, and well, there's a large body of water around this area. So we might as well, we might as well explore this whole place. As you guys can see, we're at the Valley Winds Works. Winds work. Wind works. Wind works. I can't even see that correctly. And you know, there could be an item right here. Nope, not that. And um, nope, nope, nope. I'm clicking the B button, or the A button, and, you know, this is why we have the item finder right here. So, let's see. Uh, that's the analog. That is, uh, let's see. That is the drawing stick. The step maker. The Pokemon that we have. All the Pokemon, and, well, let's see. Oh, right next to us. Okay. Okay, so, there we go. Found it. <laughs> It was right there. Okay, so there's that. Max Elixir. And if you go right here, you'll find yourself a the TM24 Thunderbolt. This is, I guess, the tutorial of where to find all these items, guys. Oh, yeah. Hooray for me coming back, right? Patience. Patience actually helps. Okay, so let's go right here. And let's take a move on right here. And this, this path right here will lead us into this particular spot. A very, very interesting spot. Not right there, but right here, guys. Right behind, and we need a repel yet again. We're gonna be using a lot of repels. And here we are in the Fuego Iron Works. Now, this will lead you to the backside of, uh, I can't remember the name of the garden, but it's, you know, you know what I mean. Gonna go right here. And we're gonna go right here to Citrus Berries. We're going to be finding a lot of stuff, and I believe this is the final spot right here before we, you know, go into the next one. Like I said, guys, this is... I'm going to be taking a few uh, detours along the way now that we got Surf. Don't we all? I mean, when we play the game, once we get Surf, we we go back to the places. Like, we backtrack to every single place we visited, and then after that, we, uh, what was it called? Um, we start getting the hidden items and the special items that we need. So, this right here is the Fuego Ironworks, home of the Molten Foundries. And, well, as you guys can see, this place has those uh, those things right there. There's somebody else waiting for us, so 
I don't think we need to battle anybody. I don't think there are any rare Pokemon or... I don't think there are like, any Pokemon that you can capture right here. No, you're going to be battling somebody. So, we're going to be battling. I'm going to be battling some people right here because we can. Austin 316. I'm just playing. Okay, so here we are taking on Worker Dylan, and he's going to be coming out with his Machop. Well, your boy is coming out with Monferno Mon and all that. Anywho, uh, let's see. What's today? Today's a very good day to talk about another story. Don't know. <laughs> I usually like to go off on a tangent for something. And... I don't know. I don't know what the tangent would be. And here comes a macho. So we're going to be switching it out to our good old buddy Starblade because he deserves it. Um, let's see. How about my feelings towards this game and what I what I have learned by watching the walkthroughs? Um, like I said, guys, uh, I, I'm probably speaking to the choir, like preaching to the choir right here for you guys too because I've heard it all over. But Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and, you know, Shining Pearl... It wasn't the game that we thought it would be. It was uh, it was a bit of a dud because they didn't really change anything. They just... Well, if there was anything that they changed, it was uh, the underground digging stuff. That was the only thing, and it was very disappointing, to be to be honest. And uh, not only that, but spe like certain things that made the... Like, what was it, Gen 8? Gen 9? So special, they took them away right away, right here, and... It was like, okay, so you expect us to grind, which is great, but you expect... Like, why are you changing the formula if the formula was working at some point? I don't know. I, I, I see what they were trying to do, trying to make it more difficult because people were complaining about that. Me... Um, if I had to be honest, I don't mind the games being easy the way they were. Mainly because it's it works for my schedule now if Now it don't don't get me wrong. I can pass a game. I can finish a game easily. I, I Do like the struggle, but you know adulting doesn't really give you that it doesn't really give you that uh, that much time so I Prefer I prefer playing the game the way uh, the way you know it was well the game that it, it's been evolving into um there we go, and wow, we are dizzy. All right, let's go ahead and switch out our. You know what? I have a feeling this guy's gonna have like an electric type Pokemon or something. So, I have no problem with like hard games and easy games. This game was was made to be hard, and I saw that. But there were no changes, literal no changes. They took away some stuff that we needed, and uh, well, I was right about something. Not well, not. In my head, it was, it was something. Anywho, here we have the Steelix. Um, so yeah, like, we all saw it, and, uh... Now, I haven't played, uh, Pokemon Stories Arceus. I... I see that there's a, a there's a connection between this game and the, and the other game, but the, the problem is that... Had they made this thing, had they added new features, like, newer stuff, or just make it like Pokemon Platinum, but... Pokemon Diamond or Pearl uh, exclusive, it would have worked either way, and uh, we didn't get that. And uh, well, it is what it is. Sometimes it is what it is, guys. Can't really do much about it except just go with what it is. I'm kind of hoping that the new remakes are a little bit better. Um, I think I got a reaction video up about that, so yeah. Oh yeah, Pokemon, uh, there hasn't been any updates on that either. Or there have, but I haven't paid attention. Wow! Okay. Um, let's see. So, yeah. That's why I was... You know, that's why... You know, by the time we're finishing up this, this walkthrough, I'm actually going to be using different Pokemon that... You know, I have saved up in my storage because, you know... I don't really have that time to be strategizing or doing any of that stuff. I'm here to just show you guys how to beat this game. Sounds selfish. Sounds pretty dumb, but... You know, that's kind of my style. Kind of like, you know, I, I kind of found my style while, you know, going on this this little self-imposed break and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Actually, no. Let's see if there's let's see if there's actual Pokemon. Okay, so this right here, we'll find ourselves a Firestone. 
don't know if I have a Pokemon that requires it, and I may... Okay. So, let's see. Okay, we've already been there, so the best idea would have to be right here. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so what I'm looking at right now is... Okay, so if we go to the top, it might lead us there. Okay, so this was the best choice. You just got to be careful because Joypad can screw you over, guys. And there we go. We found ourselves a rock incense. And... Let's see. I'm looking at this, and that leads... I think that leads... Yeah, that leads towards the very end, so we got one more trainer to battle, so let's go right ahead and battle this Pokemon trainer. Are you maybe getting annoyed by where the four panels take you? Kinda. Of. Just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. So, here we are, taking on Worker Conrad, and what Pokemon will he be coming out with? A Rapidash, okay. A uh, Rapidash. Majestic AF Force. The Majestic AF Force. That should be his Pokemon entry. I'm just saying, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and catch these hands right here. Look at this. Catch these hands. And just like that, Rapidash has been defeated. Alrighty. There you go. Okay. And just like that, our Pokemon are growing levels at a healthy pace. And, well, Worker Conrad has been defeated. He is not happy right now. Well, he kind of is. Alrighty. So, let's see. I think we have to go right here. And, yep, yeah, there is this guy right here. So, well, hello! It's not often I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles, but no one was happy about it. They say they said that the moving floor made them dizzy. But you don't want to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. And we get ourselves another fire stone, which is great. Fantastic. And, well, it would be nothing if uh, there was no iron. That's why I am always thankful for nature supplying me with iron. Oh, pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and grab that Pokeball. Actually, I want to play with that. No, you can't do anything. And here we have TM35 Flamethrower. I already have a Pokemon with Flamethrower, but it's cool. And, well, let's see. I think that's the end of that. Yep, leads us straight out. And the final thing we can do right here, guys, is... The final thing we can do is not get attacked by Pokemon. Not that. Oh yeah, and I did buy myself quite a few, or an extra, you know, extra, uh, what was it called, um, uh, escape rope, because, well, like I said, we're going on, like, a, an adventure here, before we end up, uh, you know, really, really grinding and all that stuff. So, here we are, back in Florama Town, and now we're gonna go to the back end of the Florama Meadow, and right here, it's looking beautiful, and I, yeah, look at that, you can find yourself an item. Here we found ourselves a leaf stone. So three stones in once, wow. And well, let's see, there might be another another item right here. Maybe even hidden. Let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. And a miracle seed, which many of you guys already know. You give that to a grass type Pokemon, bam, it is a uh, kicking butt, taking names and everything else in between. So jump that ledge and you will be at the exit of this place right here. And just like that, we have had another adventure. So, we're going to pause it right here, guys. In the next episode, we are going to... Well, in the next episode, we're going to be continuing our little adventure of where do we need to surf and grab items and all that stuff. Maybe me rant about certain things and whatever. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for your patience. I will see you guys next time for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. See you guys.